Welcome back everybody. I'm in my car today because I'm testing out seven different car gadgets to see if they actually work. I definitely have a mixed bag of a variety of different products in this video, but there's no point in waiting. Let's get right to it with the first product. This outer space looking gadget is actually a car air freshener. Let's see how the unboxing went and then get started. Let's take a look at this uh, car air freshener. The box does not look very good. It looks, it's kind of worse for wear here. I think this must be the scent. Whoa. I paid $16.99 for this. It claims that it is powered by solar energy that rotates the motor and freshens the air. It can be used in a car, desk, or countertop. I guess it's provided there in the sunlight. They say it's easy to install. It includes a mild ocean scent. I believe that's in here. This seems to be an adhesive that'll stick to your dash. There's a solar panel in there, so that's good. And this ball looks like a mini solar system. Kind of cool, actually. This one I have, I, I have no idea how this is gonna go. This, probably gonna go either really bad or, or really good. We shall see. I don't think there's much to it. I think all you're supposed to do is add the air freshener part and then stick it to the dash. Let's do it. Let's see. Not much to it. All right, so you just pull this apart. I believe you just, you just stick it in the bottom. Close it back up, add the ball, and we're good to go. I mean, it looks nice. Smells pretty good too. There was another air freshener kind of like this I was considering, and when I saw it was a cologne scent, I passed on it. Cologne isn't really a scent I want my car to smell like, but let's put it on the dash, see what happens. There is an adhesive on the bottom, so we will reveal that, stick it on the dash. All right, pressing it onto the dash. Now, I'm not getting much sun here, and it's not spinning, so I'm a little bit underwhelmed, but we're not in direct sunlight, so let me move the direct sunlight and see what happens. All right, move to a, a sunnier spot. Look at it, look at it going. It's going, and I can smell it too. It's actually a nice, pleasant scent. Let's see what happens when I pull in my garage. Yep, there it goes. Let's take a look at these, which it's kind of hard to tell what they are. Pull one out of here. If you're still not sure, these are actually blingy vent covers. That's right. They add a little bit of color to the inside of your car. Let's go to the unboxing and then get started. These look like, like drinking straws, but they're actually decorative vent strips. Now, let me just let me just pull one of these out of here. All right, well, I actually only paid $4.99 for these, so that is, the price seems pretty good. They say you can add your own style to your car's interior with this 20-piece set. Easy to install, compatible with straight air vents, not art, curve, or round vents. They say you just cut to size and press into place. Comes in 20 different colors. All right, so it's, it's a pretty simple idea. These are very cheap, um, and, but they're very highly rated on Amazon. So really, all you're supposed to do is measure them out, slap them on there, and you're good to go. So what I'm going to do is just kind of going to measure out that much. Cut it right there. Now, some people on Amazon were saying it was a little bit difficult to put on there. Let's let's see if that's the case or not. I'm just kind of pulling this edge apart just to get it started a little bit. Then it should be able to slide on there. All right, here's what the first one looks like. I think it looks pretty good. Let me let me do the entire vent, and then we'll uh, we'll take a closer look, kind of a before and after. All right, there's the there's the final part. What do you guys think? That's kind of the this is like the before and the after. Which which one do you prefer better, the original or with the blingy vent covers? It doesn't seem to be a problem as far as adjusting the vents goes. Actually, left and right, it is a problem. I actually need to cut those narrower because they're blocking the vent from moving left to right. Oh man! All right, back to the drawing board. All right, so what I had to do here was trim these down so I can move it left to right. Not it doesn't really look that great because then you have this gap, but. It's not the most elegant solution, but it's kind of the only solution I've got. You have to be able to move left and right, so you have to have some space there for this one. Oh well. I guess it still looks okay. I guess once you get your vent in place, you can kind of slide it over so it doesn't look so bad. I don't know. It's, I guess, not too big of an issue. I still think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? And here's the final product for the, uh, for the front vents. I think it looks pretty good. It's kind of cool as it actually pairs well with the color of the air freshener. But I'm going to leave them up, and I'll, I'll see how I like them over time. But so far, they're easy to install. What I did was I just used this as a template, so I line them up with another one and just cut them out. So it was, after you get the first one's measured, it's not too bad. I don't love the gap that I have to have between the, the slider here, but I guess I'll live with it. Otherwise, for five bucks, it's not too bad. And I, I still have a lot more left too. Mm -hmm. 
This next car gadget is actually a clip that goes on the visor. It holds two pairs of sunglasses or two credit cards. Let's see how the unboxing went and then get started. These are glasses holders. This is how it came in a box, just like this, believe it or not. This is a two pack of them. They just look like pretty basic clips. I paid $11.59 for the two pack of these. Each clip holds up to two pairs of glasses or it can also be used to hold two credit cards. They say it swivels 180 degrees, fits all types of glasses, does not harm glasses or visor. Uh, this should be easy enough, right? Let's check it out. So all you have to do for this clip is just basically pull it apart, stick your glasses or your card in there. It seems pretty simple. Pull it apart, stick your glasses in there, and I guess it's hang down. This might be a terrible example. Look how much they hang down. Anyways, let's try it out. All right, so it just uh, goes right over the visor here. If you have a flip down mirror, it might prevent it from coming down. So you have to be careful about that. All right, very simple. Let me try another one. How about a big, a big thick pair of the amperes here? These are very thick. Oh, it, it is holding them. And that's what we got for the sunglasses. It, it seems like they're pretty sturdy. They're not going anywhere. They seem relatively easy to get out of there as well. So it works pretty well for sunglasses, but what about something like a car? I'd say you're on vacation, you have a hotel key, you want to leave in your car with you, or you want your lake pass before Lake Mead disappears? How about putting those up there? Maybe that's a better use for it. Lake Mead Annual Pass. That's actually kind of handy. My Huntington Beach Shore Break Hotel card. That's pretty handy too. Uh, that actually works pretty well. I might actually like it better for that than sunglasses. That seems pretty convenient to me to have those up there. Now, my car has one of these glasses holders, but the only problem with that is sometimes I don't even know if my glasses are in there. I might be on the road to reach up there and hello, nothing there. But on the other hand, I like the cards there. That seems very convenient. I have to decide which way I want to use that. It's it's a pretty simple design, but it, it does work. You can also mix and match. I've got one pair of sunglasses and one card up there. It's kind of bright out here, let me see. Pretty convenient. Not only have I had a lot of requests for this one, but I've actually been sent this one as a sample for consideration for my store. I don't really have much of an unboxing, but here's how that went. All right, this one's a little bit of a wild card. It was sent to me as a sample a few months back from the manufacturer for consideration for my store. I don't have a lot of information on it. It is a phone holder that clips over your rearview mirror, and you've got these levers back here. Push it down, clip it over your rearview mirror pretty easily. I'm told that this kind of a phone holder actually works a lot better than adhesives or vent clips or even those that go in your cup holder. So we shall see about that. Although it does work on most mirrors, it doesn't work on those with the anti-glare flip button or those that have buttons in the front. All right, let's snap this over the mirror and see what happens. All right, here we go. I'm gonna pull these down. I'm gonna kind of snap it on the bottom. And then there you go. That was pretty, that was pretty simple actually. It snapped on pretty easily. Now the problem is if you have a mirror with buttons down there or one of those levers, it's, it's, this could potentially be in the way. So you have to be careful about that. But my mirror doesn't have anything. So it just snapped right on. Now let's put a phone on there and see how that goes. All right, so this can swivel this way. It can swivel, it can pretty much swivel any, any direction. Oh, well, that was easy enough. Let me put on the GPS and start driving around and see how it looks. All right, I just put some just generic directions in here. So uh, let's let's see how how it holds up while I'm driving. All right, I can say that that phone is not it's not even shaking. It's not mo it's not budging at all. That looks very very firm, very solid. Unlike the ones that are adhesive, you're never really sure if it's going to stay or not. I, I'm totally sure this is not going to go anywhere. So I don't worry about it falling off because it's lashed onto my mirror, but it also doesn't obstruct my mirror either. I can still see totally fine. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. It seems appropriate for a collection of car gadgets to have a car vac in here. This is a model by Basius. Let's check out the unboxing and then see how it works. All right, let's take a look at the Basius A3. Feels very, very sturdy, very, very heavy. Feels like it's, the construction is good in this. A filter, carry case, attachment, charging cable, another attachment. Something with microscopic, I cannot read that. This costs a hundred bucks on Amazon. They say it has a compact portable design, two levels of suction, 10,000 PA and 15,000 PA, 80,000 RPM motor. Can last anywhere from 17 to 45 minutes of runtime. It takes approximately three to five hours to charge it. it includes a brush head, an extension tube, air hose and LED light. The filter is washable. Before I get to the car, let's do a quick test here. Now they only have two attachments. They have this one, which is for the end where if you want to actually 
use this side for blowing out of the exhaust. And then this is the attachment, which is kind of a two-in-one. It can be either a brush or you push it down. It can be a crevice attachment. Let's do a basic test here and see what we got. I think we're ready to rock. Suction's pretty good. Let's see. Oh, there we go. And that was just on low, it worked pretty well. Let me try on high now. How about some Bailey hair? Oh, we didn't like that. Oh, it got clogged. Might be too much. Oh. Well, I don't think I like Bailey hair. I think, it's too, I think it's just too much. I think I just got, I just overwhelmed it here. Let's see. So when you consider the size of the dustbin, which isn't very big, and you have a filter in there as well, it really isn't going to be for very large cleanups, just picking up crumbs in your car or something. So yeah, for small cleanups, definitely seems like it works. Bigger ones, maybe not so much. Let's head to the car for a real world test. All right, let's uh, clean the inside of this car and see how it goes. I've got the multi-tool in here. I'm going to kind of go back and forth. I'll start with the crevice tool on the seats. Switch to the brush. One thing I should also point out is there is a light feature. You can long hold, boom, got the light in there. This is really good for the vents here. It's time for car number two. Another nice feature is you can put this attachment on the exhaust end and then you have a blower so you can blow all the dust out of there. Oh, there's something, something flying around back there. Hey, blew that out of there. You never know. Hello? Hello? Oh, actually, this is not a walkie-talkie. This is a Fantic tire inflator. These kind of small, compact tire inflators are kind of popular on Amazon right now. I haven't tried one yet. I wanted to give it a shot, and here's how that went. Fantic X8 air inflator. It's very sturdy feeling, kind of, I would say, almost on the heavy side. Some different attachments and some instructions in there, which I'm just going to leave this in here for right now. I bought this on Amazon for about 60 bucks, although the regular price is about 100. The day after I got mine in the mail, the Amazon listing was gone, but the listing uh, is still available on the actual Fantic website. I will continue to update the link in the description below as things change on that. The features are that it can inflate anything from balls to tires, 150 PSI capacity, large digital display, portable and cordless. It looks like a USB-C connector. Automatically stops at the set pressure. I just want to show you in better light how the display looks. These are the presets. You've got bicycle, 45, car, 39, motorcycle, 35, basketball, eight. And you can also change them to whatever setting you want. There's also a light on here, and the light has a couple of different modes as well. These are the three attachments. These, these are, I believe, for scooters. This is for an air mattress, and this is for basketball. You can also use the hose itself for cars and other tires. The biggest test for this tire inflator is to inflate a tire, right? Lift the air out of this to about 24 pounds. We're going up to 34, so we'll see how long it takes to put 10 pounds of pressure in this tire. Here we go. 23.7 pounds. 23.8. Attaching the Fantic. It's hard to see in the daytime, uh, but it does say 23.2 pounds. I wish it was brighter than that. I don't think you can really adjust the brightness. Wow, that's very dim. 23.2. I'm going to set this to 34 pounds, if you can even see that. It's so dim. All right, we're off. Ah, stopped on its own. And it took about three and a half minutes. And this is very hot. Wow, is that hot. The unit itself is, is, is warm, not hot. The, the tube is quite warm. Let's check it against the, uh, the, tire, the trusted tire gauge and see how this looks. Oh, 34.1, exactly what the, uh, 
with the Fantix head, so I think it's pretty accurate. So I think that going from 24 to 34 is a pretty good rate of inflation for something this small. It looks like it took about one bar of battery life off. The only problem I have right now is that this tube is very short and the display is very dim out in bright daylight. Otherwise, it worked quite well. All right, let's see how it works in playing a basketball. This one's kind of flat. All right, I have it set. You probably can't see it because it's so dim out here, but I do have it set to the basketball preset. Right now it says zero, but I believe it, it presets to eight PSI. So let's plug it in, see what happens. Basketball, very, very flat. All right, three pounds. Four pounds. And it stopped, perfect. All right, here we go. It worked pretty well. I like the fact that it actually shut off on its own. Pretty good. Next up is the auto fan. This is one that actually has been around for a while. I think I actually had one back in the 90s. It's, it's that old. In fact, it doesn't look any different. I think it's the same design. What it's supposed to do is it has a solar panel on here and it supposedly sucks the hot air out of your car when it's parked, keeps the air circulating and keeps it fresh. That's how it's supposed to work, but let's see if it actually works. The packaging looks like it's from the 80s. I, in fact, I, I'm pretty sure I had one, maybe this even the same brand in, back in the 90s. It does not look like a new product here. It looks like it's faded here. It's very old looking. That doesn't mean it won't work though. I paid $12.99 for this. Let's crack it open. We've got some uh, basic instructions, that's good. It's very cheap feeling, wow. So the claims are that it fits in any car window. The solar panel runs a fan that blows hot air out of a parked car. It's funny because the picture on the Amazon listing shows a guy in a car that's driving, but they say it's for a parked car. Something weird they say in the Amazon listing is that it cleans and detoxifies and also reduces environmental pollution. I'm not sure how that works. They also say it's not meant to cool people, it's just meant to circulate air in a car while parked. All right, here's the installed auto fan. They give you this weather stripping that you have to kind of cut to size, which I've done. And you're supposed to have it facing the sun, which it is. This weather stripping is very easy to come off. Oh man, I think it's falling off already. Let me see if rolling the window up is going to be a problem. They say do it gently. I'll do it as gently as I can. There's still kind of a gap there, isn't there? What's the point of having a vent there if you still have a big gap? Come on. I could just leave my window down. Right, I got two thermometers in here. This one is resting on the surface. I'm afraid that the surface is going to warm it up, though. This one's currently showing 125.4. I got this meat thermometer. It's actually just dangling, hanging right in the air, so it's not touching anything. That one might be more accurate. That one's reading... That one's reading 119 degrees right now. And I've got my Klein thermal imager here. Let's take a few readings around the cabin of the car. 133 for the steering wheel. The seat in the shade, 132, 133. Deep in the cup holder, let's see. Uh, about 100, 100, almost 111. All right, so this is just the initial readings of how hot my car is. I'm gonna come back in an hour after the auto fan's been doing its thing for a while and see if there's any difference in temperature. Hopefully it's cooler, we shall see. All right, here we go, one hour later. Let's see how it looks. Right, we're at a 122 degrees on the meat thermometer. This one's showing 134. That's kind of a, kind of a big range there, isn't it? Let's see what Klein shows here. Seat's about to still warm. Steering wheel's gone up. Bottom of the cup holder's gone up. Everything's gone up. I'm not real sure that's really doing very much. If it's if it's doing anything, it's not doing much. It is warm in this car, and it feels just as hot and stuffy in here as it did when I first started the test. I think the amount of air the auto fan's moving is so minimal, it makes almost no difference whatsoever. I'm gonna go outside where it's cool and only about 96 degrees. 96 degrees literally feels cool to me right now. So I guess this is why this only has a 2.6 star rating on Amazon, with over half the ratings uh, one or two stars. Now my window is curved, so if you had a flat window, maybe it would it would not have as much of a gap, but I mean, there's not much safety here, look at this. Look at that. done. The other thing is if it starts to rain, like, we're getting right now you're in an office all day this is cracked you're gonna get car wet i really don't see much of a difference between this and just leaving your car window cracked on a hot day i, I can't see a significant difference of any so in the end i think it was a pretty good collection of products i think the only one i really didn't like that much was the auto vent i'm not i'm not sure i really think that one does much but the rest of them i think all work pretty well my son has already snatched the rest of my air vent covers he's gonna put them in his car i'm gonna leave the air freshener on my dash because even if it doesn't freshen the air i just kind of think it looks cool the phone holder i'm gonna leave in my car as well and, and i'm gonna put it in my store but just keep in mind don't order it if you got a buttons or a lever on your mirror otherwise it works pretty well but it was a fun collection of things to try if you've tried any of these products tell me what you think in the comments below i appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.